my privilege to be president and chief executive officer of Allen Edmonds Shoe Corporation. This company was founded in 1922, just up the street in Belgium, Wisconsin. Today, you're on the factory floor here in Port Washington, Wisconsin, on the shores of Lake Michigan, where we make great American shoes in this facility every day. I'm thrilled to have you here. I hope you're interested in learning a little bit about how shoes are made in this country. Jim Cass will be your host and your leader on this tour. Jim knows more about shoes than anybody I know, and I know you're going to enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jim Cass. I'm the Vice President of Operations with Allen Edmonds. I've worked at Allen Edmonds for 18 years. You're going to see a lot of operators working without guides, stitching to marks, fitting leather together by feel and by, by touch. So it's, it's really truly an art form as well as a modern manufacturing facility. We're going to take one of these uppers and we're going to stretch it down over a last form. That actually is the precise size of the shoe that we're going to make. We'll attach that upper down to the insole inside the shoe, and then we're gonna sew a flexible strip of leather all the way around the perimeter of the shoe. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew the outsole to the welt. So essentially, we're binding the whole shoe together with the welt and the sole, and we don't need to use a steel shank because of that. We're one of the last welt shoe manufacturers in the world. My name is Ed Pulowski, and I'm one of the team members in the product development and engineering department. This will be my 24th year. There was a lot of shoe factories in Wisconsin at the time I started in a pattern shop. As shoe factories were, were, were coming and going, um, Allen Edmonds just kept building and building. On a day-to-day -day basis, I work on designing and engineering new patterns, create the style lines which we send to a cutter that we have. Uh, the operator there will, will take those patterns and cut them from the leather that we choose. We believe we're buying the best quality calfskin in the world. We check different tanneries, we bring in different leathers and trial them for wearability and such. And uh, we're confident that uh, there isn't any better calfskin out there. This is a walnut burnished calf here. Here's a sample of our black calf. This is a piece of shell cordovan. We make some special shoes out of this raw material. The person who does the cutting of the leather here at Allen Edmonds is very critical. They're responsible for locating the pieces of the upper on the skin, how they place the dye on the skin. My name is Patricia Bly, and I'm a cutter at Allen Edmonds. 48 years. I've helped make the shoes for the presidents already, and for the Pope, and for some of the actors. We made the shoes for Ernie Bortnine. Cutters are the most important part of the process because if it isn't cut properly, it can affect the whole shoe by being stretchy, it crooked, it has to lay a certain way. I might cut a thousand feet in one day. We're in the pre-fit area right now. She's marking so that the sewing operators know how to sew everything back together. Here's a skiving operation. We're relieving some of the thickness off the edge pieces of leather so that when we sew them back together, we don't get a big, thick, heavy seam. The fitting team would take all these various pieces and um, based on the marks that the pre-fit department gave them, they stitch them all together, either by a single needle stitching or a double needle stitching. Allen Edmund shoes are totally handcrafted. Each individual operator is relying on their hands. We still wanted, at the end of the day, to be a classic American-made dress shoe. We're not going to compromise on any of the things that we've been doing for 80 years. She's sewing the, uh, the boxing to the quarter on this shoe. Putting the binding around the top line of the shoe, she's going to edge stitch the lining in. Now we've got to put the lacing holes in, the eyelet holes. So now we've got this upper complete. First thing we'd have to do is build the foundation of the shoe, which is the insole. And that's what we last the upper to. We start with a very durable but flexible piece of leather, and these are cut size for size, so an 11C is an 11C. We apply a piece of fly rib tape around the bottom of the insole, and then this insole gets put onto the bottom of the last. And then what we do is we select the last to mate with the upper and the insole. So this is our inventory of last along here. We've got about 50,000 pair of lasts in inventory. All different sizes, shapes, and styles. My name is Bob Steffes. I'm in charge of the finishing department here at Allen Edmonds. I've worked at Allen Edmonds for 10 years. I take a lot of pride in the product that we make. The lasting process is very similar to what we did 20, 30 years ago. We'll actually take an upper and we'll attach it to the bottom of the insole. So we stamp the size inside the shoe right before we put it to lasting. 
and then we're gonna take the insole and attach it to the bottom of the last, and then we're gonna take the upper and we're gonna bring it down over the top of the last to form the shape of the shoe. We add some heat and steam in this operation here to make the leather nice and soft, so that when he uses his lasting equipment to pack it in place, the shoe takes its form. Those operations last the four part down, we still have the side and the back that needs to get lasted. So with the pliers, these guys will pull the leather down around the last and attach it to the insole and get it ready for the welt to go on. We're gonna protect the shoe and the leather going down the line with the shrink wrapping process and we leave this on until we're actually ready to finish the shoe. Keeps the moisture in the leather and it also protects the shoe as we're working on it. This is a really important step for Allen Edmonds. This is the welt going on the shoe. This is an example of a 360 degree welted shoe where we sew this flexible strip of leather all the way around the perimeter of the shoe and we don't have to use a shank to support it. We're putting a layer of hot cork in between the outsole and the insole and that's what the customer's foot actually settles into as they wear the shoe. It makes it almost custom form to the bottom of their foot. The 360 welt allows us to be able to recraft the shoe because the 360 welt creates a barrier between the upper and the sole. So what happens is after a customer wears a shoe for a year, two years, and they've worn through the sole, but the upper's fine, they can come back to us through our recrafting process. We're able to remove the sole, remove the welt without damaging the upper, replace a new welt and new sole on the shoe, and the customer can wear it just like new. These guys are starting to fill the bottom of the shoe right now with the sole. We first start with a larger outsole, and then we trim it back and we build it as we go along. We have the welt and the outsole now attached together. What permanently holds the shoe together is we sew the outsole to the welt. doing here is we're permanently bonding the heel with the outsole so that we don't get any gap or space in between so we rough cement right up to a certain margin and then we nail that heel base on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shape the edges on the shoe and get it ready for its final finishing stages. He's burnishing the edge of the sole right before we take the cover off the shoe. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our final hand applied finishes on the shoe one time before we actually take it off the last. We'll run it on a wheel and it'll bring out the highs and the lows of the leather. When you pick up an Allen Edmonds shoe, you can see the depth of the leather. So we actually let those finishes dive deep inside the leather at this point, and then we're gonna let the shoe sit and dry on the last overnight to take a really good shape on the last. What happens after the shoes come off the last is we bring them to one of four finishing cells. And these four finishing cells, they put all the final touches on the shoes. They're gonna give it the shoes a nice high shine, clean the bottoms, put laces in. After we're all done with the shoes, we're gonna look at it one more time to make sure we didn't make any little mistakes as we've done our 212 step process. This is our final inspection area here where all the shoes pass through one last set of eyes. They go through with a fine tooth comb, make sure we didn't make any mistakes, and then it's ready to go on to the customer. Once the shoes are complete, they flow into inventory. Our single pair orders, they come right directly to our shipping department, and they process and ship out the same day, right out of the factory. Thanks for spending this time with us. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the factory at Allen Edmonds and Jim Cass and the team, their work together and showing you how we make some of the world's greatest shoes. This is a terrific company founded in 1922. I feel very honored to be a part of it. We're proud to be a made in the USA company and we appreciate all of your support. Without you, our customers, we wouldn't have made it this far and we just wanna finish by saying thank you very much for your support of our company and your support of this great group of people here in Fort Washington, Wisconsin.